What's happening, people? I hope you're all well. So, Andrew Tabiti beats James Wilson by the fifth round. His corner decided to stop the fight. James Wilson's corner decided to stop the fight. And to be honest with you, that was very one-sided stuff. I think the Andrew Tabiti, having um, operated at a higher level, had the uh, ring IQ, the um, you know the um, wily. He was very um, you know very um, very smart in there. Uh, he knew when to pump the jab. He had the speed advantage, and he just knew what he was doing in there. He, you know, speed advantage, um, you know, he, he knew what he wanted to do in the ring, he knew his way around the ring, and he had the experience of finding the likes of, you know, Dorticus, Steve Cunningham, and it really just showed. It showed that, you know, the difference in who they fought, difference in activity, and really, you know, James Wilson, he came out looking quite composed. Um, he wanted to stay composed, draw to beat in, and walk him onto a big punch. That looked like what he was trying to do. The problem is that Andrew Tabiti, with his longer reach, uh, he, he looked taller in there by you know one to two inches, and also you know mainly the speed you know he was able to stand rate you know stand at a distance and just keep pumping that jab and the basics in boxing is you know once the jab's landing then start following through with the right hands or whatever he wants to follow through with and that's exactly what happened at the early start at the early parts of the fight Wilson wasn't really bothered by what was getting hit but by what he was getting hit with but he was getting hit and you don't want to get your opponent used to hitting you. You don't want your opponent to get used to hitting you clean. Andrew to be quite a fast fighter, you know, got in his rhythm. And when he got in his rhythm, James Wilson was in trouble. James Wilson was hurt, I believe, multiple times in this fight. He was down in the fifth round, managed to beat the count. Didn't look entirely like he wanted to continue. He did unload a few times. Uh, I think he caught to BT once with a good punch. I think a right hand and uh, he did unload at times and try and use his physicality on Tabiti but it was nothing that really phased Tabiti so the, Tabiti wins this fight moves on James Wilson you know um, James Wilson um, you know it looks like he's not really a top level fighter and um, it is what it is um, James Wilson not a top level fighter but you know, maybe he can fight the likes of, you know, I'm not, I don't know if Chris Ariola is still fine, but Chris Ariola, um, Travis Kaufman, um, he, you know, he can be in fun fights, but I don't think he's ever going to reach um, a particularly high level in boxing, and that's because of speed, uh, perhaps punch resistance, because Andrew Tabiti wasn't even a big puncher at cruiserweight. Um, and I think he's like in his mid 30s now but you know respect him for getting in there giving it a go I believe late notice opponent because um, what's his name Tyron Spong pulled out but Andrew Tabiti gets a win what's Andrew Tabiti going to do at heavyweight let's see uh, he's got the speed to trouble heavyweights but you know he got knocked out against Dorticus you know which is not like uh, anything like crazy to be upset about with regards to you know, Daughter Kiss is a puncher, but he's moving out to heavyweight now, so is it a matter of time before he gets knocked out again if he, you know, tries to fight heavyweight? Anyway, what did you make of the fight? Let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I make a new video, and I'll see you on the next video.